First road win since January 30th. Right? How's it feel just to get over that hump and the losing streak? Ah, uh, it's good to get a win. I don't really necessarily view it as getting over a hump. We won one game. We need to go win the next one. Is this a place or an arena where you guys, from all the battles you've had, you've seen over the years, was any kind of special feeling, special memories, or was it more of one of 30 arenas for you? Uh, it's definitely a special feeling um, and special memories. You know, when you walk into arenas like this where you've had, like, the battle of all battles, um, you know, trying to do things to re get all the marbles, it, you know, you get a special feeling. So it's, you know, definitely a special place for us. We spent a lot of time here. Um, you know, you, when you walk in the arena like this, you, you, you still feel some of that energy for sure. Jamal, what did you like about that three-man combo at the beginning of the fourth quarter with you, Kaminga, and Anthony Lamb? I thought it was good. Uh, you know, it's switchable. It allows us to switch. Um, you know, it's great. We, we all have pretty good size and, and good length. You know, obviously, not seven foot or anything, but we're all about the same height, same weight, same size. And, you know, uh, Lamb, the, the spacing that he has, JK as a you know slasher and lob threat, I can play maker. It's, I think it's a good group. Um, you know, something that we can build on on both ends. I was going to ask, do you think that's like a trio that you would like to, or two other guys you'd like to play with more? I think we'll definitely see uh, more of that. I mean, I don't make the rotation, so I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I thought it was pretty good for us to allow us to get some pace, and uh, we were able to open the game up a little bit with that lineup. 14 turnovers in the first half. I mean, what changed for you guys? Just our focus level. Our focus level was pathetic to start the game. Um, you know, we're throwing, come into the game like this, and you know, it's a young athletic team. They're going to be in passing lanes, and we were real careless with the ball. So um, we're able to lock in. Coach challenged us coming out of half. We're able to lock in after those first couple minutes of the third quarter, and you know, kind of, I think we turned it over what five or six times there in the second half, and. Two or three of them was in the first two minutes of the third quarter, so I thought we did a pretty good job of cleaning it up after a while. Rocket, you can go ahead. Dre, when stuff comes up limping like he did about midway through the third quarter, you know, he took a little lap around the court. You all just like hold your breath, or like what's going through your mind when you're, you know, seeing thirty out there hobbling a little bit? Oh, I mean, you always hold your breath. Um, you just never really know how serious it is when someone comes up hopping, uh, especially him. Um, we can't afford to lose him, so. You definitely hold your breath, but you also know that he's pretty, very tough. And if it's something that he can get through, he'll keep going. How are you feeling physically coming out of this game? I'm okay. I mean, for the most part, my body feel good. It's just my my wrists and hands are a little effed up. <laughs> a little effed up, but it's a part of it. Just got to figure out a way to get through it. Rockets are a young team, one with some talent. Your experience looking back, what are some of the things young teams need to do to make that leap into being competitive? Being competitive? Not build bad habits. Um, you get in certain situations, and it's very easy to build bad habits. Um, but habits are hard to break. So you build bad habits, and it kind of becomes who you are. It's important to try to play the right way. I think they're, you know, they're well coached. You look at the coaching staff over there. Uh, Steven, who's been around the game his whole life. Um, Lionel Hollins, who was coaching the Grizzlies when I came to the league, been around the game a very long time. Uh, an NBA game in particular, very long time. John Lucas, uh, you know, very, very long time. So they, they have a great coaching staff. And it's, I think it's just important that with a young group, with no veteran leadership, really, um, it's important that they hear those coaches, you know, because they know the NBA game in and out, been doing it for a long time. And, you know, it's, it's sometimes you need a, a veteran to kind of relay the message the coach is trying to, to say. They don't have that luxury. Um, and so I think it's just important for them to continue to listen to what those guys are saying because um, it'll determine the way that their careers go. And, you know, I think they're doing a pretty good job. Like, you, you can hear the conversation. I, I was listening to a conversation today between Tari and I think uh, KJ. And, like, the things that they're saying, you're listening to them, and, like, they're trying to figure it out. I, I was very intrigued by the conversation because, like, he's like, oh, but if, you know, I could have scrammed them out, you know, 
But the guy was low and he's like, yeah, well, if you can get over there. And, and like the whole conversation, I, I thought it was very interesting to hear two relative, I mean, one rookie and KJ is what, in his second or third year, um, to hear them talking through things like that. You know they're well coached because they're, what they're working through is actually the right, the right thing to do. Like you got a, a, a small guard stuck on the big. He's talking about kicking him out and getting him to the weak side. And we actually got fouled on that play. So his thinking was right. He was trying to figure out how to get to it. And so just to hear that conversation, you know the coaching staff is doing a good job. And, it's, and it feels like they're listening. And that will be key to the direction their careers will go. How do they compare to, to maybe when you guys saw them earlier in the season? Uh, they're a lot better. Jabari's playing so much better. Um, he's shooting it better. But he's just way more aggressive. Uh, he's attacking the offensive rebounds every play. Um, they they seem to be taking better shots, you know, and so I think they're moving in the right direction. It doesn't necessarily show up uh, in their record, but, you know, you even look at the last week or so, they've won some some games over the last week or two, and um, not against easy teams, you know. So I think they're moving in the right direction, and, you know, it'll be interesting to see. There's so much young talent. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out, but – I think they're guys that have had good careers.